Hi everybody, this is Papa Ray and Baby, and today we're going to make some peppermint white chocolate bark candy. So here's our opening. <laughs> Okay, the first thing we have is we have some white chocolate chips from a local grocery. We've got some peppermint sticks, candy canes. We've got two large spoons that we're going to surprisingly use for hammers. We have a floppy spatula to scrape stuff out of our bowl, which we'll be melting the chocolate in. We've got a freezer bag, which is a little more heavy duty than the regular twisty tie storage bags. We have a cookie sheet with some wax paper over it. And that's about all you need. So let's get started. I'm gonna do my candy canes first. Yep. I'm gonna do my candy canes first. Bye. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take eight of our candy canes. And we're gonna take the cellophane wrapping off of them and put the candy canes inside the bag. For what? For what? For part of the recipe <laughs> instructions. I That's what mine. we do. There you go. Oh, put it in the bags. There you go. We'll do the rest of them. We're back. We've got our uh, candy canes in our bag and you can get most of the air out of there and zip it shut. And this is what the spoons are for. We're going to break apart the candy canes. And this is what uh, your toddlers or preschoolers can do. So just hit it. <laughs> Go ahead. Break them up. Watch fingers. <laughs> We're trying to get most of them into crumbs. Ow. Ah. Sorry. <laughs> you have to keep an eye open for when uh, the bag starts getting holes in it. Too many holes, by that time you're about done smashing them up anyway. You smash them as small as you want, leave them into chunks, however you want them in your bark. Okay, Woo. okay we're done with that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take our bowl. And then? I'm going to set this over on the wax paper. If any gets out on the wax paper, that's okay. It'll end up in the candy. We got our bowl. And we don't, we don't use the spoon yet. We take our white... Chocolate. Ha! Ah. white chocolate. Yeah. Yeah. I love white chocolate. Take our white chocolate chips and we dump them in. Ooh, white chocolate chips. Now, okay. What do we do first? Now we put it in a microwave on low and then we take it out and mix it. And then we put it in the microwave on low again, and we take and we mix it until all of the um, white chocolate chips yeah. have melted into a nice melty ooze. Oh. So that's what we're going to do now. Okay, we've got our um, chocolate, our white chocolate chips, all melted. Then what do we put in? What is it? Mint. The mint. The mint. The candy canes. Now. I think it would have been better. We could have used two bo uh, two bags of white chocolate chips to one box of 18 candy canes, it says. I think that would have been like a full recipe. But we're just making one. Something else nice about this recipe is you don't have to use an oven. Which is another reason that you're... Well, I guess you use a microwave oven to, to melt it. Okay, thanks. Yeah, go ahead and stir it. But uh, it's all really safe for toddlers and mix it. Don't lick it. Mix it. Nice and easy. 
oops, not over the side. This looks yummy. It's easy for toddlers and preschoolers to blend a hand. I'm going to fold it and turn. Fold it and turn. You can keep stirring. Just keep it down inside. I you want all the pieces just like evenly distributed. I'm done stirring. Okay, here. Let me scrape off some. I'll scrape off most of it off of your spoon. And there's some left on the spoon. What are we going to do? I'll lick it. I'll lick it. Yay. Mm. How's it taste? Yummy. Like dirt? No, it tastes yummy. It tastes yummy. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, this is why we have the wax paper on the cookie sheet. As we just pour it out and spread it out just as thin as whatever thickness, thinness we want it. I think the thinner it is, the better, but some I'm people like it. it. No, 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 not after you licked it. No, I'll use this, that way we get more of it out. And you put it right on your cookie sheet. It doesn't have to fill up the cookie sheet at all because it's kind of cement-like in its consistency. Can I like the bowl? <sighs> sure. There we go. There's the bowl. Let me lick the... And then we just spread this around as much as we want to to thin it out. Do Some people don't like white chocolate. You can use chocolate chocolate. Use dark chocolate. Use light chocolate, milk chocolate. Mm. I like white chocolate. Yeah, me three. You three? Mm-hmm. Instead of you two? Yeah, you can like that too. If, yeah. You don't have to if you don't want to. It's kind of yucky, I know. No, it isn't. Yeah. You don't have to lick that. It's not oh, yucky. Oh, don't put it in your mouth. Oh. But yeah, you take this now and put it in the fridge or freezer for an hour to two hours until it gets really hard. And then what you do when it comes out, it's one big solid mass. You just kind of take it and hold it up at an angle and, and go bap, 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 bap. And it'll break it off into bark chips. And you snap off a piece as big as you want or as small as you want, and then you enjoy it. So. Okay, that's our bark. We got it out of the fridge. Does it look like it's ready to eat? Yeah. But first, you have to break a piece off. Let me help. There you go. Go ahead and try some. Is it any good? You don't like it? You don't have to eat it if you don't want it. It is. It is? Mm -hmm. Yay. Okay, so that's how our bark came out. We hope that you like watching our video of us making this uh, white chocolate candy cane uh, bark candy. And uh, it's pretty easy, as I said, and, and toddlers and preschoolers can help with lots of it. And um, if you liked this video, please click like below. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to our channel. And having said all of that, we'll say bye, everybody.